today's video. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be playing with new makeup and you guys know how much I love to do that. In case you're wondering, yes, I've already done like 95%, no, maybe 90% of my makeup right now. I have everything on except for my eyes. Come to think of it, the eyes should constitute for way more than just 10%. I have my hair in a pin and I'm all ready to dive into these three new gorgeous palettes that I've received in PR from Huda Beauty. So if you guys do follow me on Instagram, which I really hope you do, you will know that I finally, I mean this has been stuck in customs for three months and then the lockdown happened and all of that, I finally have my three mini obsessions pastel palettes. You don't understand how excited I am for this. I got the initial email that these were on the way in like three, four months ago, in March actually, more than that. So um, I've really been dying to play with these. I'm so glad I finally got these. Along with this, Huda Beauty, who sent me the stuff in PR, also sent me um, a few of their makeup brushes, like three of their makeup brushes, which I guess you'll see me using today. And they sent me some more of the Metal Matte Liquid Eyeshadows, which I already have. And then they sent me some shades I didn't have. I'm not playing with those today because you have seen me work with those textures in the past, that product formula um, in general in the past. Today I'm just really excited to create a really nice pastel look to go with this makeup that I've done with this black outfit which is perfect because I want the makeup to really pop and lift. So I do have three different shades over here, right? Like I have lilac, I have rose and then I have the mint palette. All of them come with nine individual shades inside each eyeshadow palette and also each eyeshadow palette comes with its own mirror which is really great. I feel like all eyeshadow palettes should come with mirrors. I really hope that one day, one day, one day into the future, I'm like manifesting right now. When I have my own makeup line and when I do eyeshadows, inshallah, I want to be able to have um, a mirror because I feel it really makes application life easier. So from the three that I have, I think today I'm going to go ahead with the rose palette. Uh, the blush that I have, the black that I'm wearing, I feel like the pink will really nicely pop. We will be working with the mint and lilac in the time to come as well. I do a lot of quick snippet makeup videos on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following the hashtag GRWANAM, which is Get Ready With Anam on Instagram as well. Apart from what one wear beauty, where you will see a whole bunch of things from me within the beauty space. Okay, so let's just start working on this. I'm really excited to test out the formula. You guys have seen me use a lot of eyeshadows recently, especially in that Nikki tutorial inspired video that I did where I put all of my, I think the contest will be closed by now, where I put all of my 16 eyeshadow palettes on my face. That was really fun to shoot. So I'm looking forward to testing this one. I now have three more palettes, by the way. So let's just get into it. Okay, so you're all scooched in. I'm gonna be starting with the application. I feel like first off, I'm gonna take this really nice warm blush pink and give my eye a really nice base. I feel like the minute you give your eye a nice base for the rest of the colors to work with, blending becomes easier, making the shades more opaque becomes easier. It just becomes a much easier process in general. So I've gone ahead and filled out my entire lid with this shade. Now I definitely want this look to have a little bit of colour. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of these new brushes out. The brush I was using earlier was from the Jeffree Star collection. This is brush number, it's from the Morphe with Jeffree Star collection. It's brush number JS6. Now I'm opening up something from the Huda Beauty collection, from the new brushes that they sent. Okay, so to add that pop of colour, I'm going to take the brush and go into this beautiful yellowish, limeish shade that they have. Okay, there's definitely some fallout happening on my top. I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely a little bit excess powder is for sure there and it's falling on me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and completely spruce up the inner corners, the inner halves of my eye. I'm basically trying to create this ombre effect that you're sort of seeing on my eye right now. Just want to add on a little more to make sure you can really see it. Okay, I really like the way it blended out. Slight warning, there's definitely a little bit of excess fallout in the matter shades. The pink was fine, but I feel like the yellow definitely did have some more fallout than I expected. But it still blended in really, really beautifully. What I'm going to do now is swap over to a different brush. I'm going to take one of the brushes from 
what they've sent and uh, I'm gonna dive into the slightly more purpley movie shade I just want to add some depth into my outer corners okay so there's definitely like I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up on it but I guess that much is bound to happen I'd also like to give benefit of doubt because these eyeshadows are really pigmented so I guess that's a small little price it's going to come at. I have definitely seen other brand eyeshadow palettes having more fallout um, or as much fallout and the eyeshadows aren't even pigmented. So that makes me mad. This doesn't make me mad because I feel like the product in itself is, has so much pigment in it that that makes up for it. I'm gonna go into the shimmery yellow greenish shade that they have over here because even though there is an inner corner pop, I kind of feel like there's scope to give it some more of that pop which I'm really excited to do and try. So I'm just gently pulling, dab, pull, dab, pull is the motion. I'm not Okay, so my memory card got full and I landed up doing both the eyes uh, with that same dab, pull, dab, pull motion without realizing that the memory card had basically stopped recording. Um, just to fill you in, continued to use that exact same product from here and I just kind of kept pressing on, dab pulling in the same motion and I've pulled it till around the middle of the eyes on both sides just because I want that really soft ombre finish that you're seeing. So it's a little more intense towards the inner corner and then it sort of becomes lesser, more gradient, more ombre effect towards the middle of the eye. Cannot believe I did that off camera without realizing. <laughs> Um, so I really like how the overall um, look is. It's been really, really, really simple to do, which is fantastic. Uh, first thoughts on the eyeshadow palettes that I'm using. This is definitely a different formula from the mini obsessions palettes. These are the pastel obsessions. Are they still called obsessions? Okay, these are just the pastel mini palettes, I think. I feel like the eyeshadow shades are definitely just as pigmented. There is a tad bit more fallout than the other obsessions palette, but like I said, I'm not mad at it because I feel like it makes up for the fact that they're so easy to work with. They're very cream to powder finish for the shimmers. The mattes are like regular nice, really nice powdery mattes. What's really good about them is that when you apply it, it's almost like a powder to cream finish in that aspect because it's so easy to work with. They blend in with each other really nicely. If you're someone who wears foundation or concealer on your lid, which is what I do, I don't use a separate eye primer. I use my same foundation and concealer. I am going to go ahead and list all of the face products also that I've used down below in the info box. If you're wondering what foundation or what concealer or what blush I have on, I will list them in down, down below in the info box for you. Um, I use my foundation and or concealer as the eye primer itself. So I feel like giving that base really, really helped. Um, those are my quick two cents on the eyeshadow palette. Is it worth it? A hundred percent. I don't think I've ever met a Huda Beauty product that I've not really loved. The only one in my opinion that I've not loved as much has been their cleansing balm that came to me along with the eyeliner. That's literally the only product I can think of from their entire portfolio that was not exactly my favorite but they've come out with a new formula for the same thing under Wishful. It's called the Cleaning Genie or the Cleansing Genie. I'm confused. Um, so I'm really looking forward and hoping that they do send me that. No one is coming to India anytime soon so I don't think I can ask my friend to shop for it and keep it or ship it to me. Um, but that's a product let's just say I'm really looking forward to trying. Let me go off cam and quickly do my liner, lashes and be back in a second. And there you go, my look is ready. Can we just ignore the fallout on my shoulders just a little bit please? Okay, thanks. Um, I personally really like how this look turned out. It is a pastel dream. I'm wearing Huda lashes by the way. I'm wearing Camille number 16s again. I will link everything. I will link my whole full face of makeup. All the product links, shades, details will be down below in the info box. So make sure you guys check that out. If you have very specific suggestions for the kind of beauty content you want to see on my channel, please let me know down below in the info box. I would love to hear your suggestions. Make sure you guys turn those bell notifications on so you get alerts for all of my upcoming videos. I'm very, very, very regular here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me there. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.